Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Children's Worship. I'm so glad to see you and thank you for tuning in. We are in the second week of Advent now, a time when we're getting ready to celebrate Jesus' birth. So because we're in our second week of Advent, we're going to add our second candle to the Advent wreath. And this time I will light the Christ candle ahead of time instead of in the middle of the lesson like I did last week. So the Christ candle reminds us that God is always with us and that he calls us to be the light of the world. Now, Advent is a time of preparation leading up to Christmas, and each Sunday in Advent is built around a story that shares the good news of Jesus' birth. And way back when, people would tell the story of Jesus' birth by word of mouth, not with the Bible. And so they came up with the symbol of the Advent wreath in order to help them remember the story. So the first candle is the hope candle or the prophet's candle. It reminds us Jesus' life brought hope to everyone from the beginning of time and was foretold hundreds of years in advance. Jesus' birth brought hope to the world. The second candle represents peace and the Holy Family. The Holy Family, Mary and Joseph, Jesus' mom and dad. An angel came to Mary and told her that she would have a baby, God's son, and that she should name him Jesus. An angel also went to Joseph and told him the same news, so that both Mary and Joseph knew that they would be Jesus' family and needed peace. Oh. Jesus' family, and that Jesus would become a king and bring peace to the world that so desperately needed peace. Right Now, right around the time when Jesus was to be born, Mary and Joseph had to travel because the ruler at the time, Caesar Augustus, issued a decree that everyone had to go where they were from to be counted for a census. So Joseph and Mary had to go to Bethlehem. Jesus was born in a simple barn and placed in a manger. Jesus came into this world in a very humble way. Joseph and Mary were not rich, nor did they have many things, but they were filled with peace in knowing that God's will was done and that Jesus, the King of Kings, would be born. So this candle reminds us of the Holy Family and that Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Peace to the world. I wonder what the word peace means. If you have ever experienced a time when you're still and you're silent and everything feels right in your heart and just happy with the world. I know sometimes I see peace the most in my own children right before they go to sleep because they're smiling, they are tired, they're ready to relax, and it's a very peaceful time. It could be when um, you have some quiet time during the day. Uh, we have quiet time at our house every day, um, and it just brings peace to each other. It could also be in how we treat each other and being kind and being gentle and having patience. Those types of things that we do help to bring peace. Um, 
So one of the things that you can do this week as you're learning and experiencing the Christmas story is to practice peace and be hopeful from last week, the, what we learned about, but also to bring peace. So your coloring pages this week, it's the same um, thing that you did last week. I kind of like this Advent Journey one for this week. So if you find this coloring page, and if you have any of these, this might be a good one. It actually has a picture of the Holy Family on it. And this gives the people that are gonna receive this one a finger labyrinth. I love these finger labyrinths. I know I've sent these home with you guys before, if you remember. But you trace your finger all around the page. And while you do that, you can think of peace. And at the very beginning, or at the end of the labyrinth, is the Christ star, the kind of the, the Christmas star that sh shone over where baby Jesus was born. And so it's a nice little exercise to send home with people to um, help them remember and be centered and find peace. So let's close in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, Thank you for the season of Advent and for all that we are continuing to hear and see and experience as we get ready for the coming of Jesus' birth. Help us to hold on to that hope and to share and experience peace, especially during this holiday season. And now we'll pray the prayer that Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debtors as we forgive those who forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.